Hi there, people. I am going to expose serious misconduct, corrupt conduct, either by a mental health worker or a police officer. So the police officer name is Annika Bewalder. And so I was brought to Ipswich Hospital, Queensland by police. And I'll read some of the details of what was said. They've got problems diagnoses this visit. And they've got reason for admission presenting problems. And then they've got psychosis, BIB stands for brought in by. They've got QPS, which stands for Queensland Police Service. And they've got QAS, which stands for Queensland Ambulance Service. So Queensland Ambulance Service, they claim that brought me in on an EEA. An EEA is a e Emergency Examination Authority. So, they've got down here thought disordered. They've got religious themes. Try and move down a bit. They've got patient abducting daughter. Now that's defamatory because back in 2019 when they allege that I was discharged on the 4th of June 2019. In 2019, I was never found guilty for child abdu abduction. So the health worker is more or less implying that uh, QPS and QAS is accusing me of abducting daughter, my daughter, which uh, was never, I was never found guilty in Ipswich Magistrates Court in Queensland, Australia. So that's false information, abducting daughter. See right there on paperwork, abducting daughter. So that's a um, serious breach. Now it amounts to corrupt conduct because it's an alleged crime that was being committed. They're more or less saying that the crime was committed and but I was never found guilty of that crime, child abduction, and I was uh, never issued a police notice to appear in court for child abduction. And so another thing too is the person that writ this report, the person that originally writ this information that I'm being that I have been reading out, They've mentioned QAS, Queensland Ambulance Service, but that is false also. Why? Um, because on information from the Director of Mental Health, he said, I would like to take this opportunity to identify an error in our original correspondence to you. Dated 18th June 2020, whereby you are not brought to the emergency departments by the Queensland Ambulance Service QAS, but by the Queensland Police Service QPS. And 
you were discharged Ed, on 4th June 2019, not 4th June 2020, as included Ed, in our original response. I apologise for any confusion or upset this may have caused you. It has caused me a lot of distress and confusion. So, <clears throat> pardon me. There you have it. Uh, uh, Clinical Director, Community and Acute Services, West Morton Hospital and Health Service, uh, DR, A, Gupta. So, let's have a read out their original response. Uh, to me and why they are apologising. Uh, they apologise because of what the director said here. By way of explanation about your concerns, you were transported to Ipswich Hospital by ambulance on 28th May 2019 under a Public Health Act Emergency Examination Authority. So, uh, the same director, he actually put his first name in the other report. He put, uh, let's have a look, he put A. So he, he's put his real name there now. Um, and, and so uh, the clinical director admitted that uh, he was wrong. In, say, in saying, by way of explanation about your concerns, you were transported to Ipswich Hospital by ambulance on 28th May 2019 under a, a Public Health Act Emergency Examination Authority. So now, the EEA Emergency Examination Authority uh, should never have been issued against me. Why? They mentioned QAS, Queensland Ambulance Service, which never brought me in on an EEA. They've got abducting daughter, which uh, I was falsely accused of. They're saying that police and QAS uh, uh, implying abducting daughter, like saying that I've abducted my daughter which is false, and um, either the mental health worker that originally wrote this report uh, has committed corrupt conduct, or the police officer, Annika Bawalda, uh, has committed police uh, co corrupt conduct. And so I will be making an official complaint to the Queensland Police Service and I've already made a complaint to the Queensland Health Ombudsman about the uh, the health worker from mental health lying about me saying abducting daughter. So I'm waiting on the Queensland Health Ombudsman to get back to me on my complaint. And it's not fair um, what's, what has happened in it to me. Um, and, and so basically there's a lot of uh, police corruption in Queensland, Australia, and it needs to be stopped. So I'm done.